Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Make sure you click all so that you can see when I post to the community tab, as well as videos and live streams. Guys, today I am here with Baby Memphis, and Baby Memphis is a Cassie Bray skull. He was painted by myself. He will be rooted eventually either by myself or by um, another rooter. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and get him changed. And um, I'm just going to put him in a simple little onesie. Hopefully he can fit it. It's a newborn size, but he is like more like three months. But, you know, usually the with the reborns, you can get away with still putting them on newborn um onesies because we don't want the cloth to show so we want it to fit close to him so um that's that but i just wanted to also say that you know i am one of those people that always have these you know things like oh i don't you know once i get a sculpt and like if it's not proportioned or whatever i kind of stop looking at the sculptor's work as much and that kind of happened with me with a Cassie Brace baby once I had one and I felt like the feet were too small or whatever. So it kind of turned me off, but I always like, like her faces. So, um, so I'm always kind of looking at them still, but this one, of course, like I said before, it caught my eye, but I think I am just so in love with his skin tone and I love his size like he has the perfect size and when he lay against my chest like when I lay him in my arms it just feels so real and he you know because he blends in with my skin tone it just makes it believe you know it just makes him even more believable um and I think that a lot of people you know they get upset like you know they're like oh you know so and so you know, only collect all black dolls or so-and-so collect all white dolls and stuff. But, you know, we collect a lot of times what's familiar to us. And for whatever reason, it seemed like those things tend to look more real to us as well because we can relate. Um, however, you know, even when we handle in the babies, if they're more familiar to us, we tend to care for them even more babyish I guess if that makes sense um for me or some of us that you know have a very blended family or you know have lived a very you know diverse lifestyle um we it, it just is natural regardless you know what I mean so I'm not saying oh you can't love a, a black baby if you're white and you can't love a white baby if you're black I'm just saying whatever's familiar to you and what you love that's what happens but I'm just here to say never say never because, you know, I was that person that said, oh my gosh, I don't want one of her scopes, da 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 And I absolutely love this baby. In fact, he is like right up there with um, the Gabigales for me. And that is a lot. <laughs> you guys know that. That says a lot. Um... And I, you know, I just love, I just love his look. He's just cute. He's, I don't know. It's just something about him. And like I said, it just even more so when I walk past my mirror in my room and um, he's laying on my chest because I'm taking him to put him, to lay him down and in his old bed. And I walk past and it just looks so real to me. It's like, oh my gosh, you know? So... You know, that's kind of how it was when I I was first started paint out painting reborns and I would paint the babies and I liked them and everything. But the first time I painted one and I can't remember which baby that was, but I painted it and I walked past the room and the baby was laying in the crib and I doubled back because the baby looked so real laying there. I was like, oh my gosh, I think I like my own work now. You know, that's when I realized that I could collect my own work because I was like painting, but I still would not collect my own work. And that's another thing. I've gotten to a point if I can find the right sculpt and if I can, you know, be successful at getting it painted like I want it. I'm perfectly OK with my own work. I feel like my work um, carries its own value 
um, now, but you know, I love other artists' work and I just appreciate the art. And I also like to support, you know, other people, you know, in the industry as well. So it's just, it, everything is like coming full circle for me right now. And I'm just really finding what really, you know, what it is that I, I'm so in love with about this hobby and stuff because you know sometimes when you let outside people people that don't collect or you know just listen to you know people that's not for you that might even be collectors um it can throw you off and make you start to question like a lot of things like why am i collecting why am i here why do i even paint these dolls you know what's the big deal am i really crazy like um, is this normal for me to 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 love these dolls like this? You know, um, they are not they are fake. They are, you know, you know, dolls, you know, you just it's like they will people will make you like really begin to question your whole identity if you let them in your head that deep. So, you know, I'm just really and and it's been happening for me for quite some time. But over the past year, I've had a lot of different things happen to me that was like game changer for me. Um, a lot of disappointments, a lot of hurt, a lot of, you know, um, magical moments, a lot of good things, positive things, um, uh, new friendships, you know, just a lot of mixture of things that's just been like, okay. So maybe a little bit of this and not too much of that, you know, type thing. And so now I'm just, I'm just really enjoying the hobby. And I'm, I'm loving that there are a lot more people I'm finding. And you know what? I question myself. Is it that I'm finding more people that are positive and uplifting? Or is it they always, always been here, but I just wasn't in the right circle or you know, connecting with the right people. Um, that's, that's the question. It's like, I think it's always been a calm peace, you know, um, a little less drama. Now it's always going to be drama, regardless if you a non drama person or whatever in the, the community, in the world, because things are going to happen. But to submerge yourself in negativity and around people that's constantly, you know, just negative and hating on people and trying to destroy people's careers and lives and stuff like that. Um, that's a choice. And so I think that, you know, even with the collectors, the collectors that are, you know, just troublemakers, you know, every video they make is complaining about, you know, a doll that they got or da 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 da. Those, those type people, you, if you choose to, to, to emerge yourself in those uh, bad energies and, and vibes, then, I mean, you're going to see the hobby as just a very negative place. But if you are around uplifting people, bubbly people, people that, you know, you can play with your imagination and talk dolls and talk shop and stuff, you're going to be excited all the time and feel like, wow, this is a great escape. Um, and like I said, no matter how positive you are, there are going to be some, some down moments too, because if I sat here and told you that everything was peaches and cream and bubbly and I've never, you know, been involved in any drama and I've never, you know, talked about anybody in this community and I've never did this and I've never did that, then that would be a lie. And so, you know, I am planning on bringing you guys some videos of just my journey like I've been doing, but I also am getting back to the joy of, you know, the role play and the loving on the babies. Let me burp him before he throws up. Cause you know, if you don't burp these babies, they, um, after they eat, they will throw up. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, so I am, this is Baby Memphis, and um, I wanted to also give you guys a quick update. I don't do work-in-progress pictures 
um anymore like i don't share them on instagram and facebook like i used to when i'm painting silicone but i do want to let you guys know that baby andrew is starting to get a little bit of a tan and i'm at that point where i'm like is he gonna be a red bone or does he need some chocolate like what color he gonna be guys like i'm trying to think do you guys think i should go for luca color or should i go darker like or should i just keep him like a nice pecan tan or you know a light skin um, African American baby he will be a black baby this time because I already got my winter white and so I'm gonna try to go for a black baby but I'm not sure what skin tone so tell me guys what skin tone you think I should go for let's see who, how many people vote or, or how about this better yet you guys know me <laughs> do you think I'll go darker or do you think he's gonna end up being light <laughs> Oh gosh. Anyway, so that's that. So Baby Memphis is all set. I'm not going to put him on any socks or anything. And I want to take him a few photos. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's Miss Serenity Smith. Um, that's Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And guys, again, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you everybody that participated in the giveaway. I will be taking pictures of that baby once the body has arrived and that baby will be going out really soon. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see other people doing giveaways and just spreading love and just, you know, I, I don't want to sound like overly bubbly happy-go-lucky here I, I want to give you some negative because I know that's what you guys love no <laughs> girl the shade but um no seriously um so I just you know that's just that but anyway I will talk to you guys later thanks guys for watching bye bye